What's going on Spartans? King here and today we are upgrading another defense. Now I'm going to upgrade an Archer Tower. Which one should I upgrade? Uh, I'm doing this for the Farming to Max series. Let's do this one though to level 13. So I only have like a few more buildings to do and then I'll show you my stats here. I only have a few more though. I mean I have one, two, three, three more Archer Towers, one cannon, two cannons, three cannons and then... I thought I had a fourth one. No, three cannons make sense because I have four that are upgraded. So yeah, about six more buildings, plus I have some mines and collectors to do. So about ten or so buildings left to upgrade. I would expect in the next two weeks or so to be finished with all this, maybe three if I go slow. So in three weeks, I expect to have a maxed out base as far as, actually everything, yeah, three weeks. Wow, I'm going to have a maxed out base in about three weeks, guys. That's super crazy. Now, you can check my stats out here. Uh, about 530 or 558 million gold grab, excuse me, and I probably need about 600 million gold grab in order to actually finish my base. But let's move on. Let's show you a couple raids that got me some of this loot, and then stay tuned for tomorrow when I'm doing a few special Christmas videos. I'll be doing a uh, yeah, just a couple special ones for you guys. Hope you're excited for that. I'm not gonna give any hints on what they are, and uh, just slowly looking around here. They are blowing through these walls. They are double walls, but what people don't realize about double walls is that one wall breaker can go through two walls that are connected like that without a problem. So double walls are pointless. If you put a space between them, they're super effective, but just completely touching like that, two rows touching, it's a useless thing to do. So never do that, guys. Big mistake by this guy. Obviously a noob. And you can see he's dropping tons of goblins down. Got the archers on that wizard tower. And now dropping the queen. Queen is not hitting the archer tower, or wizard tower, excuse me, but she will in a second here. And my goblins are going to destroy the center of this base here. Let's see if they can go through this wall quickly enough. I'm hoping they get to that corner section. And not looking too good. Oh, no. Double mortar. That's bad news. And that wall breaker is doing some crazy stuff. I don't know where he was going. But anyway, flood in this zone. And here we go. Crush in the center. There goes one storage. There goes the gold, the dark. And looks like we're going to get an easy crush on the center. Take it all. The queen is taking out the elixir on the right side. And then going for that town hall, I hope. She'll probably get distracted by something else, like a wall, but who knows? And you can see here, oh, no, she does go for the town hall. That's pretty good news, guys. Merry Christmas to me. My queen's smart today. Um, obviously, guys, uh, tomorrow will be Christmas. I hope you're excited for that. I hope you guys have a wonderful one. I definitely wish you the best, and also to your families. Let's see how much this queen can really rack up here, though, because she has nothing to take her out and just a ton of buildings to shoot. Look at her just one shot in those buildings. That's insane. And I will continue to upgrade my heroes soon, so you will be seeing me Dark Elixir farming a lot more. And Invis the Queen smashing these buildings. Nothing can stop her. And she is going to get as much loot as possible. Let's see if we can get all that Elixir and gold. I want every cent, guys. I'm not leaving without everything. So let's see how much my Queen can do. Maybe she'll take the whole base out if we get lucky here. And it looks like we might get that lucky. I don't know. It's going to be a close one, though. Uh, is she going to get the gold store? Just really... Really good question, actually. Nope, not going to get it, unfortunately. That is unfortunate. We're going to call it there, though. 208,000 gold, 290,000 elixir, 238 dark, 17 trophies with Garch. So definitely one of the best farming forces, if not the best. I may try and make a new strategy up, which includes minions with my Garch. But we shall see. I don't know, man. It's it's It'll be difficult to find the best way to do it, especially with the way the new Archer Towers are. We shall see if it's worth it, but I will definitely go ahead and try it out. Dropping a bunch of goblins down, taking out that elixir storage, and this is not the normal farming that you guys are used to probably. I'm actually breaking into the base and taking the loot from the storages and not just the collectors and mines on the outside. So take it out the outside, obviously, but also going for those storages that are behind the walls. So we're going to go pretty heavy with the wall breakers up top here. Going to get rid of that one wizard tower and that mortar because they are a threat. And now the wall breaker's job is to go in and wreck these walls, blowing in. Hopefully they get through that second wall. They got it. Boom. There it goes. Awesome. Awesome. So here comes the goblins, wrecking everything in sight. Gotta love them. My heroes are down, so I have pretty high faith that these guys can handle the rest of this base without much of an issue. Got tons of troops left, about 90, and starting to drop them now. And you can see here the queen is unharmed. The king is getting hit pretty heavily, but it looks like he'll be okay. That health in the king is definitely pretty helpful. I remember the old king had so much health. He would never get hurt. 
but unfortunately that has changed, and he still lasts quite a while though, level 30. And we have no more archers left, but 30 goblins. We'll start dropping those slowly here in a second. Doesn't look like we're going to need them. The king got distracted by the queen, unfortunately. And here comes a bunch of goblins. Only have 11 goblins left, but we got all the loot. So that concludes every ounce of loot in this base. Now, the queen's about to go down. We should just go ahead and drop these last 11 goblins to show you what happens when you do take all the loot out of a base. So when you do destroy every loot building in the base, you can destroy regular buildings with goblins. And they're quite powerful. They are about twice the strength of an archer, so they do do a lot of damage. And as you can see, they are going to die really quickly. But with these 11 goblins, oh, if not for that mortar, though, dang. This is where that new speed of that archer tower really comes in handy because one low-level mortar that injures your goblins or anything, now the archers can pick off your troops twice as fast. Super deadly. That is why they did that, though. And, of course, 13 trophy for that two-star and 200,000 of each. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys tomorrow for more videos. Love you guys. Peace.